Okay, so I did something that's a little bit risky today. I bought a lens. Specifically, I bought a lens from KEH. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. KEH is a fantastic company. Uh, they are extremely uh, highly rated. Um, a lot of people have bought stuff from them in the past. Personally, I have bought a lot of things from them in the past as well. The risky thing about it was I actually bought something that's rated as ugly. Now, normally for myself, the lowest I'll ever really go is bargain. KEH, if you guys don't know, um, usually has a reputation of um, pretty high standards in terms of like the stuff they sell. Um, a lot of times when you buy bargain stuff, from KEH, it's typically in pretty good condition. And then maybe there's like a ding or a dent or a little scratch on it, and that's considered bargain. But in terms of ugly, that's a little bit of a hit or miss because I have seen people on YouTube where they posted uh, videos of them unboxing an ugly lens, and they're like, what is wrong with it? It's completely in mint condition. But at the same time, there's also a post of other people where they uh, have purchased an ugly uh, graded lens and it was riddled with like fungus and haze and it was just in really poor condition. So I feel like it's kind of like a toss up. It really depends on who rated that lens and what they determine as ugly. So KH notes uh, ugly basically means that the lens is a look that only photographers would love. There's probably cosmetic damages, but they also note that there may be fungus or haze that may impact the image quality. So with this one, I'm really excited, but I'm also kind of nervous. All right, so, oh, by the way, I just want to note, um, I'm from Canada. So for those of you out there that are purchasing from KEH and importing over Canada, there are import charges that you need to be aware of. Just want to let you guys know that because, uh, you know, a lot of times we might find pretty um, inexpensive stuff on KEH, but do know that there's a hidden cost of the import fee. So it's not, it might not be as inexpensive as you may think. All right. So what did I buy? I bought a Canon 100 millimeter F 2.8 macro L lens. This is the EF version, not the uh, RF version. Um, and you know, I've actually sought after this lens for quite some time now. Um, I, I, I think this lens is fantastic. Um, it's great for obviously for macro. I mean, sometimes these close up uh, product shots, uh, a lot, oftentimes I would just crop into the image, which is probably not ideal. So having an actual macro lens will definitely help with those kind of shots, but it's also great for portraits, right? I mean, this lens, people use it for portraits all the time, tack sharp and, you know, gets great detail. But it's also great for events. You know, you can, you know, do headshots, you can do portraits, you can do, uh, you know, your normal event shoots. But at the same time, you can turn around and you can immediately shoot some detail shots, you know, table settings, wedding rings, and all those close up detail shots. So it's a great and very versatile lens for quite a few purposes. All right, enough talk, let's unbox this. Okay. Super stoked, super excited, a little bit nervous. This came actually pretty quickly. This came, um, again, I'm in Canada, and it came in about three days. Anyways, all right, let's see what we have here. Uh, very well packaged. Um, they've got uh, a lot of bubbles in here, so it's nice and secure. And the lens, they provide a pouch for it. Um, yeah, this is a KEH pouch, so um, I bought from KEH in the past, but I've never actually received a pouch like this, so this is actually very, uh, very nice. All right, so here's the lens. This is the 100 millimeter uh, f2.8, uh, and I, I see now, I see now why they actually put in a pouch because there's actually no caps on this, so I'm gonna need to get some caps. But this is the ugly version of this lens. So far, it's not ugly. This is a really good condition lens. It's just missing the caps. Now, the glass also looks like it is perfectly clean. But of course, I think the main thing is we should probably take a closer look at this. So let's head over to the desk and uh, we'll examine this a little bit closer. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this uh, Canon 100mm f2.8 macro. Now. Like I mentioned earlier, this looks like it is in immaculate condition. Um, just going around the lens so you guys can see, see if you can catch the light. Yeah, it is in absolute perfect condition. The glass itself looks really good. I don't see any issues there. Oh, actually, at closer inspection, I do see a little bit of haze. Yes, I do see a little bit of haze on the inside um, or, or fungal spore on the inside. That could, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is a little bit of um, 
of spore growing on the inside. Now, whether or not that impacts image quality, I'm not sure. Uh, whether or not I can open this and just clean it, that is another question as well. Um, obviously, that is probably, if I'm going to do that, it's a video for another time. But anyways, uh, yeah, so far, the exterior looks fantastic. Um, I can feel that the focus ring does have a little bit of play in it. There's a little bit of wobble in it. Um, but it still works and manual focuses just fine. And I can hear the, I can feel the, the stops at the end. Um, these knobs, these buttons, levers, uh, they work. I mean, the buttons work. I don't know if the actual mechanism works. We'll have to test that. Um, but it seems like um, the glass does have some fungal spore in it. So that's probably the reason why it's ugly. But, um, you know, cosmetic wise, it looks fantastic. Uh, we just have to see if this works. So let's try that out. Okay, let's see if I'm extremely close to the camera, and yes, I am. Wow, that is, that is much closer than I expected, but that's okay. That's okay, because this is technically a test, because um, currently I have the 100mm macro mounted to my Canon R6, shooting this outro part of the video, um, and it seems to me like it is tracking me pretty well. It looks like it's on my eye. Um, I mean, the, the screen's a little bit far away, so I can't really tell for sure, but it looks like it's following me pretty well so seems like it works right um, you saw some of the tests I did earlier um, some of the autofocus tests were done in video mode so it was using dual pixel autofocus so it was a little bit slow going between point A to point B but I did also try it in photo mode and it snapped between two points extremely quickly so uh, that's perfectly fine the image stabilization works perfectly fine as well manual fo focus works perfectly fine as well the only thing uh, really detrimental about this lens is the little bit of fungus spore that i see inside of the lens which is a shame because fungus typically grows over time right but i can't really ding them for that because i did buy an ugly lens and on their website the description does say it may have fungus but i did do uh, that uh, test earlier that you guys saw i shot my white desk at f22 um, and I wanted to see if there's any like noticeable spots or anything like that. It looks like it's completely fine. So it might not be an issue right now, but like I said, fungus do tend to grow over time. So if you don't fix it or treat it, it could get worse and worse. So um, I'll see. But the nice thing about KEH is that um, if you buy anything from them, uh, I think as is is final sale, but anything above as is, um, you can return it and they do have a return policy. You just have to pay for shipping. Uh, and I was pleasantly surprised when I got this lens, took it out of the box and, and saw that it was in pretty much in immaculate condition, cosmetic wise and, and over the look of it. It was just missing the caps, um, missing the lens hood, no box obviously, no pouch, but it did come with KEH's own pouch. So that was nice of them, but the real kicker here is the little fungus spore that's inside of the lens so we'll have to see about that but anyways that's my thought on keh not a sponsored video by the way um this is just literally me just buying an ugly lens and wanted to unbox it on camera right so that's my thought on buying an ugly lens on keh if you guys agree with me that's great if you guys don't agree with me that's okay too let me know in the comments below i'll see you guys in the next video